Holy. You know this smells like the uh, the hanky panky, the uh, the hanky banister. Hanky banister. <laughs> the hanky banister blend we did on our it is hanky banister. Another so on Tuesday nights you gotta check in uh, on our Instagram live. Uh, we just did the hanky banister blended scotch, which yes. is probably one of the weirder, better bottles I've had. All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Everyday Whiskey. I'm Dan. And I'm Mike. And this week on Everyday Whiskey, we are going to walk the line, literally. Johnny got, Walker line. Yeah, we got every one of them, courtesy of my mother. We stole it from his mom's like a cabinet. It's her personal collection. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Yeah, so <laughs> I personally don't have a lot of experience with Johnny Walker. Neither do I. <laughs> uh, we know his mom takes two hours to drink one shot. Yes which is called sipping to the maximum degree. Oh, yeah. But we're going to try to do this and not get, uh, you know, swifty. No, no no swiftiness. So we're literally just going to go from red all the way to blue. This is going to be like the ultimate vertical. Yeah. I don't think we've ever done a vertical this with no, this many bottles. The Buffalo Trace, dude. The, remember the, oh, the 13. Yeah, Buffalo Trace. Yeah. If you guys watch, you got to watch it. We'll put a little, like, notification up here. Yeah, right up that way. Our uh, Pappy, Van, Pappy Van Winkle vs. the World episode, we did a 14-bottle vertical, and mm -hmm. I might have killed my girlfriend. <laughs> but all right, let's start this thing with the red. Oh, get, right. We're gonna get right into this fresh pint. See the hold on, I gotta see the. No, I, I cracked it already. I was scared. <laughs> I've never had the red label. Me neither. Okay. I've never had a lot of these actually. Holy! You know this smells like the uh, the hanky panky, the uh, the hanky banister. The hanky banister. <laughs> the hanky banister blend we did on our. It is hanky banister. Another. So on Tuesday nights you gotta check in uh, on our Instagram live. Uh, we just did the hanky banister blended scotch, which yes. is probably one of the weirder, better bottles I've had. It's that butterscotch note, the Werther's. You smell Werther's? Yeah. All right. It's not we're, bad at all. we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this stuff because we gotta really move. Yeah, we got a lot of bottles. All to right, three, two, one. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. All right, blended scotch. A little sweet. Yeah, you got, not that bad. You got this like weird little like like hint of smoke. Like it's trying to be smoky. I, I got that too. A yeah. little bit. It's it's trying to be smoky, but it's not. It's very easy to drink. Uh, I it's can see why this is... not as bad as I remember. No, I didn't know if everything was bad, but like... Well, I've only actually had black. Yeah. And After black. having like really good single malt scotches. Mm -hmm. um, and blended scotches are just as good too. But you can definitely taste like this... Good, like it's almost like the syrupy sweetness or butterscotch yeah. sweetness that they all have. It's like the, or cherry notes too. And disclaimer: Johnny Walker is strictly a blending house. They do not distill. No, they have ten so. million barrels in their warehouse to yeah. blend with. So it's like a kid in a candy store for a master distiller mm -hmm. or a Co master cooper, or a master blender, yeah. or whatever term you want to use. But they are not in-house distilling. Right. On to what I would say is right. It's kind of funny where like people immediately go from like, oh, Johnny Walker Shit. Red is like kind of like. Like bottom line, but then as soon as you go to black, you're like, oh, that's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Like it's oh, yeah, bad. and you're paying twenty nine ninety nine or well twenty five to twenty nine, and then what's that on the shelf? Like thirty. It's yeah, over forty. Over forty. Yeah, it's over forty. Thirty five, forty. Oh, what the hell? Um, that's cheap. And not this. Pr these are smaller bottles. Uh, these all came in like a pint collection. This, this we just picked up. Anyway. But the seven fifty of this is about twenty five, twenty nine. You know how I feel about twist. And then it just climbs from there. A little bit of black. All right, so that butterscotchy nose from the red kind of dissipated here. Still a little hint of sweetness, but I think it's yeah. more like cherry blossom, maybe a little honeysuckle. I get like gram and honey kind of like definitely honey, but you like start to you cracker. start to get that that smoke on the nose. Honey made graham cracker. That's what it's I mean. in the background though. The peat is in the back. I mean... Once again, you still get that blended sweetness. It doesn't taste that much different than red. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I think it might have a little more of a sharper flavor to it. A little more... Maybe it's, it's a little, little bigger flavor. It's got a little bit more bite. A little, a little more bite. It's a little more bold, but... I actually think I like the, the what red What is that better. from Spongebob? Big. Bold. Yeah. Squidward. And bold. <laughs> I think I like the red better. Honestly. I like the red a little better. I think it's just easier to so drink. I like, I, it's got... I like that you can pick up on the smoke a little, the peatiness. I think like it was scotch eating. should have. Yeah, I think it was easier to dissect the red where that one's a little more muddled. Yeah. Where there's a, I think there's there was a lot going on in that one, but I, it's kind of hard to pick out like this is this, this is this, and this mm -hmm. is this. It's all kind of like a. Uh, it's truly blended. Like I mean, a, it's blended really well. The cluster, you know what? Um, this, if I remember, is where things start to get interesting. 
I've never had double black, so I'm interested. Um, that's why I was excited to do this vertical because I'm interested to see the oh, difference wow, between bottle. black and double. Thanks, mom. Um, and I'm also interested to see the difference between red and blue. Um, I think black and blue is the big difference that we want to see because I, I, yeah. feel, I feel like red was like that's definitely a straight up like budget. I don't want to say budget, but it's almost it tastes like budget blended scotch. Yeah. There it is. Oh. There's a smoke. Yeah. All right, maybe I will like that. This is like barbecue smoke, though. This isn't peat smoke to me. This is more like mesquite smoke. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, double black. That that toffee note really is gone now. Maybe a little fig. Definitely fig. No toffee. No honey. Uh, yeah, dried fruit. Oh, that's it. There we go. Now we're now. See, this was predominantly a single malt blend. You really start tasting some single malts that they yeah. blended into this. I'm not gonna pretend to know every like single malt distillery or distillery no, they used to blend. But, but this is single. But Johnny Walker is predominantly a Highland and Speyside blending distillery, and obviously with like Gold Label 18 Year Platinum, they are gonna use some Islas because those are very peaty. Mm -hmm. In my recollection, I have I've had these once or twice. I'm not like really delved into these. And then the 18 year, I think, is it's it's blends of what, 25 to 40 year olds? I think so, yeah. I'm trying to see if it gives us any hint. Just rich, intense, smoky blend containing whiskey mature. That's pretty accurate. It's a yeah. really nice smoky. It's light, it's smoky, it's very approachable for a smoky whiskey. I think like somebody who drinks your red label would still appreciate yeah. the double black. So these are definitely much closer this related. This was a drastic jump, though. It was. Like, I like this way better than this, and I still like this more than this. Yeah. Okay. So right now, we're like, let's Same put page. like a little uh, ranking system. Let's yeah, yeah, let's do that. So we got red, black, or double black, then we'll get black. I'm like, for me, I like this better than this. Oh, you like this? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. We're going to do it like that for now. This, though... I have had this, and I love I have this. Not. And I love this. We gotta go light on this one though. I'm yeah, pretty no, sure mom just—that's like her new favorite mom, one. Mom will get pissed. Um, I'll—I could always buy her another bottle. It's not a big deal, but it's out of stock right now. It's out of stock right now. <laughs> Dude, I got gold label in instead of the green because I can't get the green. Really? All right, I went like really light. I just need—we just need to get the essence. That's it. Oh god, that nose is so Does good. Does have anything interesting? No. All right, so this is just. 15 year aged. Okay, do we know the age statements on these other three? We never talked about that. No, so these are NAS, 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 not okay. age statements. So this is where we start to get to age like, statements. You can, you can speculate all you want. I'm sure that it's I'm sure it's predominantly like 10 to 12 year blends. Maybe thrown in like a 15, 14, 15, 16, something in there. Yeah. But they don't specify. Like from here on out, aside from the gold label reserve and the and the, uh, the blue, they specify an age statement. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put that back So obviously there 15 year. It. So the youngest blend in this is 15 years. Yeah. Obviously it'll go off from there, but the nose really isn't that complex. There's nothing on this nose. I get a little it's a really clean. I get a nose. little peat smoke? A little bit, and but it's clean. Very clean for the most part. So if you're trying to be discreet. This is what we're still working on is dissecting flavors from nosing it. Oh wow! Don't stick your nose. In I'm getting some sweetness though. I'm getting some sort of sweetness. It's uh, this is like so. The Green Label is the only one that it has no grain whiskey in it. It's 100% malt whiskey blends, and I'm actually getting some of that malt sugary sweetness. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Now I know why it's your mom's favorite. And it's got a little heat to it, but a good heat. It's got flavor heat. Oh yeah. That's um, a scotch. That's a scotch. This is hard. I like this, but I think it, the double black had more of a punch to it, where this is very, the, the edges on this are more rounded, and yeah. it's just, I think it's more relaxing. To me, they're all like, oh, God. I, I want to tie them, but I think I have to give the edge to, to green. Yeah, green. I think green. Oh, good. we didn't do our thing. You're good, but not sponsored by Johnny yeah. Walker or Contradiction. Nope. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank thanks you for drinking, for drinking with, with us. Thanks for drinking with us. And every week, if you guys drink while you're watching this, thanks for drinking with us. Yeah, doing it right now. So we've got the gold, uh, Johnny Walker Gold oh, Reserve. Sorry. You might have to bleep that out this time. Yeah. We're trying not to curse. I haven't yet, which is a which is remarkable. I'm probably gonna edit this whole part out where I started opening from when I grabbed this because that just did not go as smooth. Why are you pouring that one? Would. We're doing the gold. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> We'll just oh, share we'll, we'll that, share that one. All right. We're going to share this one, and then we'll share that one. Yeah. So okay. Put a little extra. Little faux pas. It's all right. Um, 
Okay, so. All right, there's some. There's got to be Isla in here. You get. You actually smell butterscotch in this. Yeah. I actually, from my experience, I don't like the Gold Reserve. I found I've never that. I had it. The butterscotch is back, but there's definitely Isla that's smoking. Now, this are they year. both 18 year? So this is the youngest is 18 year. 18 year. The youngest blend in here is 18 years, but there's other stuff in here, and okay. this is legitimately an 18 year old blend. Gotcha. Okay. So basically, this was different from this at one point, and then eventually this just kicked this out of the lineup, and yep. then eventually they're like, no, 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 wait, we want that back, and then <laughs> yeah. they did this. That's what happened, and then it's really confusing, and I don't quite understand what the difference between these two is, but we're gonna taste them and figure it out. Again, that's again, that's why I really was excited to do this because there's so many like verticals within the massive vertical to do. See, I like this. I had it the other night, and I didn't like it, and now I'm having it, and I like now it. You like it. It's, I like the green bitter. I like green bitter? I like it bitter. I like the green better still. I think that's lacking some, like, boldness to it. It's very toned down. Yeah. Almost watered down. It's like, so the gold reserve it. is, like, even though this has some green whiskey, obviously, blended, it, it's like a dumbed-down version of the green. Yeah, I'm not into it. Yeah, right. It feels like it's missing something. I don't like it. So, let's just, uh, get that. Bam. We'll put it at the end for now. Uh, I would put it here. You think so? Per, I don't know. You disagree with that? I just I don't like it at all. I think. It all right. Really so I think we should definitely do put it in between them. This. At least. I yeah. think we should do that. The 18 year tastes the same as the gold reserve. Of course it does. There's no difference. Oh Not there's no discernible difference to me. Tell me what you think. And that's just off like a quick sip. There's no difference. No. So we're just gonna put it in line. Oh uh, yeah. I feel like. <laughs> Literally, we're going to do what Johnny Walker did in the first place. Gold reserve. Bop, bop. Yeah. You're going to take your place. Uh, there's no difference. All right, you've killed that off. So we can... There's... I, I, I don't know. All right, let's reset our palate for these last two, because these two are apparently where things really start to get real. Mm -hmm. Like, where things start to get very good. Oh, get some fresh glasses, too. Yeah, get some fresh glasses. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a sin to kind of... Yeah, I guess if I have... All these. I've had Blue Label one time... And I wasn't, like, crazy impressed, but that's just me. And, like, like I said, everything we say on here is our opinion. If you have a different opinion, that is totally okay. Yeah. Like, that's what you drink. That's what you like. We're not trying to insult anybody. And if you have a different opinion, all. let us know what your opinion of our whiskeys we're tasting are and why that is your opinion. Like, that's part of a discussion. That's how conversations work. Exactly. And we, we like that, man. We're... Dan is definitely more active on the social media because he's. He, I'm driving. I, I physically yeah. can't be active during that's, the day. Well, that's also my end of the um, spectrum. What we like, what I like, I do at night. That's you know, but I we both to... are really, really responsive, and we would love engagement. Yeah, so I feel um, bad for the guy who commented. Uh, he was, um, I think, Jimmy from Chicago. Uh, he was like, "Yeah, like I want to try these peanut butter whiskey." I wasn't trying to say that peanut butter whiskeys were crappy. It's just not my style of whiskey. Yeah. My girlfriend loves them, and if you like flavored whiskey, like totally try the peanut butter whiskeys if you haven't had them. I'm not saying like they're a bad thing; they're bad for the business. No, I just, not at all. They're not my not my taste. We'd be happy to talk about flavored whiskeys with you guys, but just don't expect us to go ranting and raving about. Yeah, them yeah. Just make sure not... I'm drinking first. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's really not our forte. It's neither Ooh, of our palates. Wow. Good. Oh wow. That, the, wow. most, the most complex, wow. the most complex nose so far. Yeah. What is that? What is the platinum of blend up though? Like, is I it... don't know, but what's that smell? Oh, it's eighteen year. Wait, what? It's aged eighteen. How, there's three different eighteen years. Is it just straight eighteen? Maybe. I don't... Private blend aged. What does that mean? This years. is so, Johnny Walker. You're very confusing. So we've got the eighteen year. We've got the Gold Reserve, which is a blend of eighteen years. I think it's just because it's a private label. And this is a private label eighteen year. Okay. Or a private blend, not label. Private All right, so blend. Whatever I'm going to assume blend that, like, the Gold Reserve is, like, slightly less selective as far as what cast they use. It's a little more selective on the straight-up 18-year, and then this That's is very be, selective. Yeah, it's got to be, like, hyper-chosen. Cho hyper like, this is your... If you're if you're looking at Knob Creek, this is your bookers. Yeah. In bourbon terms. Oh, that nose is so complex. There's a lot in there. It's floral. It's light. It's fruity. Oh, this is nice. This is fruity. This is cherry. This is like dried apricot. This is nice. This is the best one so far. Yeah. To me, this is the best. It, it's I like not this better than green. All right. So that's where we're going with that. Sorry, green. You just got outdid. And, all right. Like I said, we're not... The 18-year and the gold reserve, we are 
counting them as the same because they were yeah. the same. I just want to center everything. Yeah, center it up. Because it's making my OCD tick. Um, yeah, wow. This is great. Ooh, ooh. After you swallow, let it sit for... I know, I hate that one. <laughs> Let it sit for, like, kind of, like, just let it sit in the back of your throat. Can we put a picture and of Steve Carell on there with a uh, prison mic? That's what she's saying. That's what she's <laughs> Um, tell me you don't get a little bit of those tea, like... I get tea black tea. Like, yeah. Like, I, get, I get herbal black tea. Like, re- like kind of on, on the back. This is really nice, because, like, it, it, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, it actually tastes very big, but as soon as, like, it starts to heat up, it completely dies out, and it starts to, like, you, it, wow. it's like riding a wave. Like, this is like riding a wave. Starts off peaty, starts getting fruity, starts getting peaty again, a little more fruity, starts to flatten out, starts to get some heat, and then it drops off. And yeah, it has a good finish end, to it. it once like, it drops, that end result yeah. is tea. But it's not a, it's not a, it's not like a landslide of a finish where it's no. just like it drops off the face of the earth. It's a easy, long lasting finish. The residual, the re- the lingering aftertaste is like a lot of tea in that. I like that. This is nice. Right, I'm gonna put some water in this yeah. over to the blue label, because the blue label is fragile. Very fragile. And it, theoretically, it should come out as number one. I mean, Blue Label is highly regarded. It is dropped. It is. Not only is it highly regarded, it's seen. It, it is portrayed as a bottle of, of status. Sta- yeah, status. I mean, you like. You well, buy this for your boss, or your boss actually sometimes will even buy it for you. Like this is. They don't have the thingy. Blue Label has a very, very, very. Um. I can't think of words today for some reason. Never Esteemed heard. reputation. It's uh, allegedly. I got it. Allegedly, we're gonna find out. Oh, it was a cork. Sure. That's why. Yeah, of course. I, I thought court. it was a twist off. It's a freaking two hundred. No, man. In certain cultural uh, cults, I can't talk. Dude, dude. Every I can't words week, today. In certain cultures, the whiskey you have on your bar tells you what economic status you have. Yes, and that's. Very relatable to Johnny Blue. Your working man would be your red. Yep. Your middle class would be your black or double black. Your upper class would be your platinum and your blue label. Like, that's immediately what they see. Even if you, they don't drink. Yeah. They have it on their bar. It's, it's, it's part of the culture. Yep. And that's what I'm trying to... Like, I know people who don't drink at all who might have like, a bottle models. of this. I can't, I can't, like... Yeah. Um, I know people who don't even drink at all who have this bottle. Tell me this. This nose is like the red label nose except softer and the butterscotch is like more on the underside of it i don't really get a nose on this your mom (laughs) i'm looking it up love you mom (laughs) yeah say it now how the hell did you do this dude i I just put the cork back on without taking i ripped it out i would if you could like repeat it oh wait shit i looked bad yeah, <laughs> that looked bad. All right, so let's leave that on the table and see if it does come out as one. The nose is nice. It's oh, sweet. Wow. It's there's it's no peat. Really there's no nose. peat at all. And I like. So I don't know if you'll pick this up on camera much. I'm gonna try and stay further away. Oh, I'm blocking the light. Um, if you notice, the bottle itself has a very very delicate blue tint to it, which is kind of cool. It's the only bottle that has those nose um, on the bottom. No, no, they all do. No, but really it, so again, this has you can really see down here. There's a blue tint, Where and all, like, all everything all like else is just except for the, the, the double black is actually. So tinted. they really do put in. Um, they put more effort into the blue by far. So I think this is the one. I c- I definitely could be wrong here, but there should be like forty year old Balvenie in this. I mean, you yeah you. Could I, I I I heard that somewhere. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, comment. I mean, it, the bottle goes for anywhere from 189 all to the way up 230. to 230 so it's not cheap. I would buy this at 200 Mm-hmm. Wow. Do you get, like, bell pepper? A Herbal little bit of pepper bell pepper? Tea? Is there even alcohol in this? My whole thing is, like, here. This, this is my thing, and this is my thing only. It's 80 proof. Or you could agree with me here. Do not confuse smoothness with quality. Please no. don't do that. Yeah. And I'm not saying this is not a quality whiskey. I like the platinum better. Yeah. I really, a in my opinion, I like the platinum better. It's got more complexity. It does. It's got more backbone. It's got more flavor. This is really good because it's really smooth. See, now it's funny because I actually, a lot of people seek out the smooth, uh, just a smooth whiskey. 
I prefer having a little bite there. This is a letdown for me. Um, <laughs> it's a letdown for me again. I prefer having the bite because when it when it's so smooth, you get to a point where you just taste like where your whiskey just begins to taste like rotten corn in water. Yeah, <laughs> like, or here rotten barley in water. Yeah, I mean like yeah, there when when there's no alcohol burn and when you can't pick up on the alcohol, it really does just I, taste uh, like t dirty tap water. I'm not trying to ruffle feathers here. I don't get it. And I'm not saying it, uh, this tastes like dirty tap water. No, no, no. Um, yeah, maybe rephrase that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> well, it's just, it's true. Like, when you don't have that alcohol burn, it just kind of tastes like... I wouldn't really drink any of this if I if it none of it tasted like alcohol. I'm really just getting this, like, weird bell pepper note. And it's smooth. There's no burn. Like, you could drink this like water. That's why I was wondering if there's even alcohol in here. You can't even t pick it up. Um, I, I like it. I like it. No, no, I like it. I but like it. it's not... This euphoric, like, if anybody's seen Beer Fest, when they find Grandpa's secret recipe for the beer, and they just, it's like this Valhalla moment, the, oh, yeah, it's not that. It's not that for me. It, it's really good. I appreciate what they do. Yeah. But I, the Platinum's got more going on. Basically, if I walk into your house and I see this on the shelf, I'm going to be like, damn, you got money, but you don't have any taste. Or any, yeah, yeah, you have no taste. Like, you, yeah, like you got like, money, I'll give you that, but you don't know. And you anything. like this, you like this, it's good for yeah. you. Like, that's what you like. Uh, it's, it's really it's, not it's much smooth, but going on. I didn't try to more of it because, like, I don't know. I can't believe, like, this is what it, it's kind of really hard to believe that this will blue taste, like dude. That. I really get like jalapeno bell pepper note. I'm like, I will admit, I'm really getting a crazy little peppery note. It's this cork is cute as fuck. And I know I shouldn't be cursing, but like, look at that little tiny cork thing. That's it's really adorable. Cool. <laughs> All right, correct me if I'm wrong. This is how I'm feeling about this right now. I'll let you make. I'll make the moves. Make. The I'm moves. gonna make the move, and if you want to correct it, that's where I'm at with that. Okay. Wow. You actually went a little more conservative than I thought you would. Why? You would want to go here? I would have switched it to that. I would have put blue as the mid-tier. I'm okay with that. Like, I, I'm not... I just wasn't trying to be like that yeah. hard on it, but in my personal opinion, this had more flavor. Oh, yeah. This had more character. Yes, it had more of a bite, but for my taste buds, it, like, it just was more of my speed. And this yeah, there's is... Nothing there. I'm going to reiterate this, and when Mike does the final edit, you're not going to see a lot of the, the BS ranting. This is our opinion. Yeah, this is hundred percent. This is not the final say. So this is no. not, you know, we're not bashing Johnny Walker. We're not bashing Blue Label for everybody who loves Blue Label and bows mm -hmm. down to it. It's just our, it's just our taste. This is our palate. Yeah, I, it's all I'm saying is it's one hundred percent a bottle of status and not a bottle of quality. I know that sounds harsh, but uh, it's it's just true. Yeah, there's definitely. But that's again, that's my opinion. That's for our and palate. They, they got ten million barrels to blend with, and I bet. <laughs> Like they use some really quality whiskey that went into oh, it, I, without a doubt. And as I said, it's smooth. It's got good. It's got flavor, but it just doesn't have the complexity that I would like for a bottle of scotch. And we're not trying to insult whatever whiskeys are blended yeah. in there either, because you know what? That just says they did a really phenomenal job yeah, at blending it, it because it, exactly. you can't you can't really pick anything out. There's no alcohol burst, so they yeah. just did their job, and their job was to blend a phenomenal whiskey, which they did. But, However, it. I don't know. It just doesn't right. do but it. But this is, this is our ranking right now. Number one, platinum. Platinum. Number two is going to be green label. Green. Number three is going to be double black. Double black. And then number four is going to be your blue Blurry. label. And rounding out the top five is going to be your red label. Red. And then the rest are, you know, you can figure it out. Yep. So and blue surprisingly, kind of black label was our least favorite? My least favorite. That was my least favorite, too. And, and you know what? I'm not surprised because I have oh, I've never liked Johnny Walker, and you know my mom. She's only yeah, ever you, had yeah, no, black. Yeah, I know. You're a Johnny Walker person, and yeah. she's always had black. And it's like, only ever been black in yeah. the house. So, like, that's what I always based my dislike for Johnny Walker off of was black. So, I'm not surprised. But no, no. Less. So, Mike might have a predetermined notion of it. I do not. And yeah, I agree. Exactly. And I not. actually agree. So, yeah. If anybody wants to buy Johnny Walker, and you want to spend money, yeah. buy the Platinum. Definitely. I think so. Uh, the Platinum, I think it's like 120 
Yeah, it's right, like, it's close to Johnny Blue, but I think you get so much more bang for your buck out yeah, of that. Yeah, that's your bang you for your buck product right there. You do with and, blue. and then Green Label, like like again, like that's I love Green Label. I love Green Label before we started this, and like I didn't rank it number one. I, no. you know we didn't rank it number one. And then Double Black, I've never had, and I'm actually surprised about how good that is. I think is. they should honestly just switch the liquid in these two. Like, yeah, it's just, that switch has, the liquid. this has so much flavor, it's crazy. I would but, definitely pay Johnny Blue prices for this. Yeah. Not for that. If you, I, I like, alright, so we are going to do, I'm going to say we're doing this right now, and once we acquire a couple more bottles, we're going to do a blind taste test. Yes. On all of these, and do a true and true rating of yeah. what we like best, because like, obviously we knew what we were drinking here, we had some predetermined notions about what was in the bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do a blind taste test to really like hammer it home. I mean, we really only knew about the... Uh, I knew about green, I, I knew, about, knew about the black. I've had black, and I've had the We've both had blue, reserve. but I feel like we both had blue a very, yeah. very, very long time but ago. I think we gotta end this thing now. <laughs> yeah, we do. Because even with the edit, and I have to cut out. It's gonna be a long one, but video. I expected that. But, um, all right, guys, that is our Johnny Walker taste test. Yes, we hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned, and hopefully in a few weeks' time, we'll do the blind taste test. And remember, really see what we pick. And everybody, at the end of the day, you need to do three things. You need to like, you need to subscribe, and you need to comment. Have a good week. Bye.